If you are having low FPS, FPS drops and stutters while playing CS2 on your PC or laptop, so today in this video I'm gonna show you how to optimize your CS2 to getting the best performance out of it. So guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, please subscribe and without wasting any time, let's dive straight into our this video. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to create the Windows Power Monitor plan on our PC. So guys, for that, you need to go for your Windows search, search for performance and monitor and you will find out here this application. Make sure to run this as an instructor for having the full access. Once you open up performance monitor on your PC, you need to go straight to your data collector set and there you will find out user defined. Now right click here, go for new and click on the data collector set and here you will get this window. Now you just simply type here CS2 FPS boost. So guys, once you type here CS2 FPS boost settings, after that go for this create manual and advanced settings for your CS2. Now click on this next button after that. Now go for create data logs and check mark on the performance counter. Now click on the next button. You will find out here which performance counter would you like to log. So click on this add button and here you will got this complete list for all the processors. So guys, you need to go in the very first step for this processor option and there you will find out instance of selected object now find out the highest number available in this list this is actually the number of thread of your cpu so you just select out here the highest number available in this list so i have the 15 you click on this add button after that now you need to scroll all the way down and find out here the thread option so guys simply scroll down and here you'll find out this thread option once you select it here now click on this add button and add the processes and thread inside this list now click on this ok button and guys that's it now click on the next button again next again and guys click finish and save the settings on your pc now in the next step we are going to create the virtual memory optimization settings on our pc that will guys help you to get the more fps and fix all the fps drops and stutters so for that right click on your windows start icon this is same for your windows 10 and 11 simply go into the system tab now here you will find out related link and there you will find out this advanced system settings so go and Inside the settings now go for this advanced option go for performance and click on to the setting button open up the settings for your performance option now you need to go for the advanced tab and there you will find our processor scheduling first of all adjust for the best performance of program of that go for your virtual memory and click on the change button now here inside it you, in the very first step you need to uncheck this box that is the automatically manage paging file size for all drives so make sure to uncheck it on your pc because we are going to set it manually so guys select out your c drive and uncheck this box after that now you need to go for this option and set it on no paging file now go for next drive that is your d drive so go inside it now here you need to select out here custom size option and you need to simply type here this value how to calculate this value you need to simply go for your windows search search for calculator and now let's find out the number according to your ram size so guys if you have 16 gb of the ram or 18 gb of the ram you need to simply convert that size from gb to mb so i have 16 gb of the ram so i will type here 16 now multiply with 1024 and here i have converted my 16 gb of the ram in the mbs so now simply guys multiply this value with 1.5 time of your 16 gb of the ram and here you will get this value that is the 24576 simply type here this exact value now go for the maximum size in mb and how to get this value you need, you need to again simply click here 16 multiply with 1024 for converting it into the mb and now simply type here multiply and multiply this time with three time and hit equal now you will get here this value that is the 49152 now once you type here this value click on the set button and apply the settings on your d drive now go for your next drive and again use the same make the settings again click on the set button now hit ok hit apply and save the settings on your pc so guys now the next step you need to download cs2 ultimate optimization pack on your pc you can find out the link in the description of my this video simply copy the title of my youtube video and search it here in the search bar and you will find out the same exact article and download this pack on your pc once you download this pack now in the very first step right click here go for show more option now go for your winrar and click on to the extract here now inside this optimization pack you will find out pc registry optimization cs2 priority settings and cs2 nvidia settings so we are going to optimize our pc one by one so go for pc registry settings open up this file inside you will find out cp priority registry settings gp priority registry settings scheduling category 
FSI or priority and system responsiveness. Now you need to simply go for this registry files, hit yes, hit yes again and click OK and this will set your CPU on the highest priority. Now go for your GPU priority and also set it on the highest priority of your GPU. Scheduling category, this is also for your GPU settings so hit yes and click ok ffio priority this is also for your gpu so guys hit yes and click ok now next here you will find our system responsive now this will make your pc more responsive and faster so double tap here hit yes click ok and guys that's it now close out this folder now go for the next folder that is your cs2 priority settings if you have a good pc i suggest you to use the settings for having some extra performance or extra fps in cs2 so go for your high priority dot registry double tap here hit yes click ok and guys save the settings in cs2 now go for the next step that is your cs2 nvidia settings if you have nvidia gpu so this will help you a lot to boosting your performance so open up this folder inside you will find out nvidia profile inspector exe file and cs2 nip file this is the preset of file for your nvidia settings simply right click here make sure to run this as administrator once you go out here this interface, now you need to go for the import icon. So here we go import user profile. So guys simply click here on this option. Now go for import profile and select out here the cs2.nip file. Now hit open and this will automatically import the file on your PC and help you to getting the more performance in CS2 out of your PC. Now hit OK. After that, click on this apply changes button and apply it on your PC. Now guys, in the next step, we are going to optimize our Windows PowerPoint setting for CS2 especially. So guys, for that, you can use a dedicated program that is the power control or you can simply do it manually. So guys, this is the best option for adjusting the best power plan, but we will do it manually and simple. So guys, close out application go for your windows search search for power and you will find out choose windows power plan go inside the settings now select out here high performance now go for change plan settings and here you will find out the settings now set it on never also set the put the flip on the never and open up change advanced power settings now once you go to this power settings option go for your hard disk and turn off your hard disk and set it on zero minute this will help you to getting more performance and fix all the stress and fps tropes now scroll down go for intel graphic settings click on the expand again click on expand and set this on maximum performance now scroll down go for processor power management click on the expand button now go for processor performance score parking set it on 100 percent maximum processor frequency set it on 0 megahertz minimum processor state set it on 100 percent now go for maximum processor state also set it on 100 percent after that hit apply and save the settings in your windows power plan now you need to one time reach your pc there for all the changes take effect after that launch your cs2 on your pc and enjoy the best performance out of it i hope you love it please make sure to share your opinion about this video in the comment section and see you again in the next video